Welcome, thanks for joining me again. Today we are going to make a landscape using children's modeling clay, a square mold, a tree mold, a house mold, a bunny mold, a plain circle, a butterfly, a star, and just this small circle mold. And that's all that we need to make a landscape. We're gonna begin by flattening our dough and then using our square mold to make our basic element for the background, which is our squares. And you see I'm gonna start making the sky with the squares. So the first thing we want to do is put our background in. Now we're going to talk about background, middle ground, and foreground. But this is a fun thing that you can do with some modeling clay like Play-Doh. And all we're doing is putting squares into a row. And we have our blue sky. And then, of course, we need to have our green grass. And so I have green dough that I'm using for the grass. And we're just, just like the sky, all we're doing is placing our grass down. We have the makings already of a landscape. Just like when you're making a painting, the first thing you do with a painting is you find out where the sky is and where the grass and the ground are. And once we have our sky together, and our ground together, we can start to put in our objects. We're going to start with the sky and we have a nice bright sunny day. So I have a circle for the sun. And this ground is so beautiful, somebody lives there and that's their house. Also in the background, so the background is things that are far away we have a nice tree and that tree there, that spruce tree goes with that house and the person that lives at that house really likes trees. And if you're wondering, is it okay to put Play-Doh on top of each other? As long as we're not pressing the dough from one layer onto the other, it's perfectly fine. They'll peel right off. Just don't push it down. Just let it just let it drop. Now there's the background and then the next part is the middle ground. And in this field, this beautiful green field, we have a bunny rabbit. We have a cottontail, Peter Cottontail. And then in the foreground, the foreground is what's closest to us. We have a flower, and you can see the pollen there, the yellow. So it's actually two different objects. There's the star shape for the flower. And then I used a small circle to make the pollen. And of course, in a yard like this, we'd have a beautiful purple butterfly going into that pollen, going into that flower. So this here is our landscape. And you can make a landscape however you want. You could have the house over here if you wanted it to. And you could have the tree over here. You could have the bunny rabbit in the middle. And you could have the sun over here. And you could have the butterfly over here. And you could have the flower in the middle if you wanted to. And you can make it however you want. 
but that's just one way to do it. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Jeff with Prairie Scholar, where we play to learn and learn to play. Have a good day. Thank you.